Hello guys, my name is Nato, Sanfix so today we have another video, this time it is a Pick'em Challenge, it's going to be for the um, E-League, I was about to say MLG, but E-League Atlanta 2017, as you can probably tell, and I'll just remove the net graph here for you. So, um, the group stage locks in 17 hours, 18 more or less, um, and I've decided to only make this now, I'm sorry that it's a bit late for some people, but um, we're just going to get straight into it. Um, so basically, first of all, we're going to be picking the um, one of well one of the two teams that will advance undefeated, and this will obviously be uh, a team that I find to be the favorite of the tournament, or at least the favorite of the Swiss format. Now, those two um, things, like being a favorite of the whole tournament and of the Swiss format, should more or less be the same. So I'm just going to be picking based on who I think is the favorites. And um, since I actually think that <laughs> all the teams right now are pretty bad, except for Astralis and probably Virtus Pro, um, I've decided that it's going to be between those two. And I'm going to pick Astralis, not only because I'm a bit of an Astralis fanboy, but also because I feel they... I mean, <laughs> you can always find bad things to say, right? Astralis... They only really had a few good tournaments. Uh, we don't really know what their level really is. Virtus Pro, always slow starters, always seem to lose against teams that are much worse than them. Navi, uh, I don't think we'll see them go in 3-0. I, I don't think we'll actually be seeing them do that, uh, be doing that well. SK Gaming got a stand-in. Like, all of these teams you can... <clears throat> say something negative about. So I'm going to be picking Astralis because that's what my gut tells me. And we are going to be just picking these guys. We're going to plot them right in there. And um, then we're going to go on to the remaining seven teams that will advance out of the group stage. Now, we're going to be picking the other favorite um, that I talked about, which is going to be Virtus Pro. And we're going to be just slotting them in there immediately. Now, um, in terms of the other teams that are going to make it out of the group stage. I'm gonna go with North, another Danish team, uh, unsurprising probably, and um, that is basically because I um, I think North are gonna make it through. They're pretty solid right now, and they have a lot of firepower. Um, them making it to the playoffs, I think, isn't too big of a uh, too big of a stretch. I'm also gonna be picking Godsend. And um, I'm going to be picking these guys simply because I think they are um, one of the best teams. I I mean, they have been very up and down, right? Um, and also there's these rumors that they might not even play together after the Major, that, that Fna uh, well, Flusher and JW might be going back to Fnatic. Um, if so, I mean, they might not be performing at the top level, but it just seems that the more time passes, the better they get. And um, it seems they always rise to the occasion. So this being a major, I think they're going to be playing extremely well. And I'm hoping for them to go through uh, to the playoffs. Now, another pick that I'm going to be making here is going to be Team Envious. I'm actually not entirely sure about this. They did just win a tournament, uh, WESG. Um, I think this is bit of, I wouldn't call it a ballsy one, because this is probably one a lot of people pick, but I, I don't think it's going to be that safe, to be honest. I am going to pick them anyway, though. Ah, am I? I'm not actually an entire sure. We're going to be picking FaZe, though. Um, FaZe have been looking pretty uh, decent lately, and um, two Danish players on. I'm not picking them just based on the Danish players, but what I've actually seen from them um, at, the, at the later tournaments in... Um, 2016 was uh, them actually improving a lot with Carrigan, and I think they'll just get into the major and, and be really, really solid. Um, I mean, it would make sense to pick SK, so I'm going to do that. And um, I also have another one in mind. I'm not entirely sure about it. This is going to be one of those a bit, um, a bit risky, perhaps. Um, I... I, I'm actually consider, uh, considering picking Flipside simply because I think they're actually doing really, really well right now, and they always seem to... Uh, well, I don't know. They don't always seem to do well at the Major, but I just, I just have this uh, sort of weird feeling. Like, I haven't picked all of the teams beforehand, um, 
So right now I'm just I'm just thinking out loud. So liquid, I don't think they're going to go through. G2 could uh, go to the playoffs. Um, same same uh, as with Envious. I think uh, it is a possibility, but since not many teams go through, I'm probably not going to pick them. I think Hellraisers are doing really re well right now, but the only problem I have is that I don't think they had the level to be top 8 in the world right now. I think it's phenomenal that they got to the Major, but I don't think they're going to be one of the best teams in the Major. I think Optic is going to have a disappointing run. Um, I mean, they might win one or two games, but I don't think they'll go through. Mouse Sports is not one I'd bet my house on. Um, flip side, a bit of a dark horse for me. Um, Fnatic, I, I don't think I'm actually going to pick these guys. Could happen, um, but I just don't really feel that safe. Um, we haven't seen them play for a long time, and it doesn't. They they they've said that they're not gonna. Well, they aren't practicing, so so I'm not gonna pick them. I think the last two I'm gonna be picking is actually gonna be Navi because they do have the firepower, they do have the talent to actually make it through. And then I'm also gonna be picking. <clears throat> it's gonna be between Flipside and Gambit. Um, you know what? I'm actually gonna pick my dark horse. I'm gonna be going with Flipside. Um, Gambit have been more impressive lately, um, but I'm going to be going with Flipside, and 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 this could just be horrible. Um, <laughs> honestly, I think it's a pretty hard major to call. But one of the two teams that will be eliminated without winning a match. Now this is not going to be easy. Um, I think the safe pick here is a Liquid, simply because I think they're actually by far the worst team at this major, and. Um, we are going to be slotting them in there. So these are the teams that I have picked. Actually, surprisingly hard. And um, wasn't expecting it to be this hard. But really looking forward to the major. And I hope you guys are too. I'll be updating with the quarterfinals, the semifinals, and the final matches. The final matches? The final, the grand final. I will be updating these um, as we go along. Uh, wait, group stage? Oh, yeah, the... So yeah, so it's gonna be Swiss format and then group stage. That makes sense. So obviously also the group stages. Um, so yeah, I'll be posting videos uh, throughout this uh, major with my pickums, and uh, yeah, that's about it, guys. I'm sorry for a bit of a, I wouldn't say rushed video. Uh, I don't feel rushed. It's just that it's a bit late and I'm actually pretty tired. But I have to get this uh, out, uh, or at least I have to get this made um, before. Yeah, go to bed because I think it's going to be way too late um, if I wake up tomorrow and, and do it then. But um, I hope the other videos, like the other picking videos, will be better. Um, and, and yeah, apologies for it being a bit weird. But thank you so much for watching, guys. Um, if you if you do uh, well, if you do want to, you can let it, me uh, know what your pickums are, or if there's any picks here that you disagree with, you can let me know in the comment section. And I'll definitely check them out. So I hope you have enjoyed the video, guys. Please leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you haven't. My name is Nato Suffix. I'll see you guys in the next video, baby. Kills, kills. Beautiful kisses.